Are you earning a small income but you want to buy a new house for your family? Do you want to discover the fastest way to save as much money as possible? In this video, I'm going to share with you 7 tips on how to save money for a house even if you have a low income. Coming up! Hello millionaires, this is Fibo Lim, your wealth and life coach. In this channel, we publish weekly content that will help you earn more income and achieve success in business and in life. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Don't forget to ring the bell button so every time we publish a new video, you will get notified. So now, let's jump into the video. Number one, start saving small amounts. If you want to start saving money for the future, you have to start somewhere. Most Filipinos say, I'll save when I earn this much. Believe it or not, there's no right amount of salary to start saving. There are people who earn so much but haven't saved anything. You need to start with what you have. It could be 20 pesos or 50 pesos, whichever amount you're willing to save every day or every week. In the long run, it will add up and it will be a substantial amount. Number two, apply the 7-20-10 rule. This is the basic allocation of your income. 70% is for your expenses, 20% is for your savings, 10% is for your tithe. If you follow this simple division of your income, you're building a mindset that a portion of your income is automatically allocated for your savings. Thus, you don't have to think about how much to save every payday. Also, you will be able to create your budget for the 70%. Just in case, if 20% is too much for you at this time, you can start at 5% and increase it later on. For now, your goal is to build your savings no matter how much it is. Number three, bring your own lunch for work. Dining out is one of the highest expenses among Filipinos. Every lunch break, we tend to dine out through fast foods or restaurants without realizing how much money we are wasting away. If you're spending around 100 pesos or more for your lunch, imagine you're spending 2,000 pesos per month, assuming it is 20 work days, just for your lunch alone. That's 24,000 pesos per year. It may cost you time to prepare your lunch, but hey, imagine how much you can actually save. Number four, do a creative money challenge. Saving could be hard at first, but if you make it creative, it would be fun too. You can start by doing a 10 peso challenge, for example. What does this mean? Every time you're handed with a 10 peso coin, you won't spend it. It will automatically go to your savings. As simple as that, you can also increase it according to your preference. You can also follow other money challenges too. Other examples are the 52 week money challenge, the invisible 50 peso money challenge, or you can also follow a page called Peso Sense and they challenge their subscribers every year with their Epon challenges. The latest challenge was having a coin bank where you could shave the amount you have saved already. All of which are fun ways of saving money. Number five, read personal finance books. Saving your money alone isn't enough. In order to increase your savings, you should know also how to grow it. You start by reading some personal finance books. This will help you learn more from experts. Again, you can only earn and save proportion to what you know. So keep on growing and investing first in your self-education. Number six, use an expense tracking application. Tracking your expenses is also one way of sticking to your budget. You can write it in a notebook or if you want to keep it handy anytime, you can also use a downloadable expense tracking app to your smartphone. You can search a lot of free budgeting apps both in iOS and Android. Number seven is build a side business. There are times really when your money isn't just enough no matter how much you budget it. There are unexpected expenses along the way that you could not really avoid. The best thing to do is to have another source of income or a side business. This will keep your mind at peace even if something happens unexpectedly. Discipline is the key to getting out of your debts and being able to start saving money for the future. It may be hard at first, but if you want to commit doing these things, you can make it a good habit. All you have to do is start and act. So choose the ways which are most applicable to you. Again, here are my seven tips. Number one, start saving small amounts. Number two, apply the 7-20-10 rule. Number three, bring your own lunch for work. Number four, do a creative money challenge. 
Number five, read personal finance books. Number six, use an expense tracking application. And number seven, build a side business. Question of the day, which among the seven tips do you like the most? Let me know in the comments below. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and click the subscribe button and ring the bell button as well. And if you missed our previous episodes, check out more videos of this channel. Until next time, this is Fibolem. Achieve success, live with happiness, and enjoy the good life. See you in our next episode. Number one, start by numbers. Without realizing how much money we are wasting, uh,